Hey, it's Marzi. So I'm home. It's her 17 days. I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I did a really good job. I'm not going to lie, the last couple of days were hard. I had my one and only kind of mental breakdown, probably the last, the night before the last day, my, my meds. Um, I'd, I'd come off, like I've been on codeine for 20 years or so, and I had gone off at cold turkey and been replaced with other pain meds which are compensating for the withdrawal. So I was sort of doing okay, but what happened was, is any time that any of the doses, sorry, I've got poor paw from my shogans. Why are my eyelashes? Anyway, um, any time the doses were like a little bit late, I'd start to get like full on withdrawal symptoms. Like I'd just gone off the meds and somehow they mucked it up just I was not on top of them one day and I had a six hour gap instead of a three hour gap between my doses and I I got asked a really simple question one of the this girl that was in my room look honestly hospitals are so noisy and I've just been putting up with so much noise and so many lights and all the stuff I just can't handle normally and I could you know it wasn't great for me but I was just trying to be zen about it, not react, and perfume, and like sharing a bathroom with people that are just like using all these products that I'm sensitive to, all that stuff. So I was kind of just like doing my best to cope with it, and then I got moved for the fifth time. Can you even imagine? And because I'm the princess in the pea, I literally pack like I'm going overseas. So I'm having to pack and unpack all this stuff. And so um, I'd moved into this room and I thought I was going to be by myself for the last night. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'm going to get sleep, you know. I'm going to get a full night's sleep. Well, this will be great before I go home. And then they brought in a post-op patient, which, you know, fair enough. But um, her husband was a bit of a crankosaurus rex. And he came in. He was, like, yelling like a madman. And, again, I just didn't react, didn't say anything, didn't comment, didn't do anything. And then later I was watching something on my tablet because I was in pain and I couldn't sleep and she apparently complained to one of the nurses about me and I had the most inappropriately disproportionate reaction. <laughs> like I just went from zero to a hundred. Just like, like so fast and then I was like, um, hang on, just hang, just hang on a second. I think I'm having a disproportionate reaction here because I'm in withdrawal because I've missed a dose of my meds so I'm really sorry I don't really feel this way this is just like my you know my withdrawal symptoms coming out so anyway I managed to sort of talk myself down and then it was so weird because the next day I was ready at like well they usually get rid of, get rid of you <laughs> they would usually try and kick you out around 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm never usually ready then and one of the times that they came, like, I had to get discharged, I was crawling around the floor, and I'm so germophobic, so I was crawling around the floor, and I was vomiting, and I had diarrhea, like, projectile vomiting, and I'm, like, passing out, and migraines, because I had radiation tracer, tracer, and I had an allergic reaction to it, and they put me in an MRI, and you're not even meant to be in an MRI with radiation in your body. And the cannula had come out of my hand and so it, it was like gone into my tissue and I just was like so sick like just crazy banana sick anyway um they like they gave me all the all the documents to discharge me and I just so can't I'm not even wasn't even cognizant of what was happening and thankfully my friend Julia who's also sick was there to help me but he, like yesterday I wake at seven and I think oh well I'll stay awake because that way I'll just be prepared and I'd moved the, no <laughs> the day before so I mostly was packed and so I thought I'll be ready and then we end up not being discharged at two o'clock in the afternoon whereas usually they're like like literally trying to push it out of the room you know so um yeah but like I got so much achieved and I feel really proud of myself that 
I mean, it's just staying so long. And even, like, the nurses that know me, I mean, they're all really fond of me because I go out of my way to learn their names and, you know, like, just treat them like humans and just and sort of be and they're like you don't need to remember my name and I'm like yeah I do you're you're a person who's helping me and and it also helps with my brain so I'm gonna I'm gonna remember your name so um yeah they all they all know me and you know 99.9% .9 of them are just amazing and uh yeah I had a I had a really good experience that um yeah, by the time Lisa, my friend, got me home yesterday, she'd been parked for like four hours before we even left the hospital. And then, um, yeah, it took another couple of hours because we then we were stuck in like school traffic to get here. And so, anyway, today I'm just, I've like hit the wall top speed. And then there's been a bit of a, like a stuff up with my medication. So because I've changed over what my pain meds are, I need my GP to be like on top of prescribing my new pain med, whatever you call it, regimen? Yeah, regimen. Um, but he's not, he's gone, he went on holidays at like 11 o'clock this morning. He'll be back on Monday. So I'm hoping Dr. Khan is one of the other lovely doctors who was my father's doctor. We'll do the script, it'll just get me through the weekend, and then I'll be okay. But uh, one thing that's happened, unfortunately, is because I was away for that fortnight in between, we have no groceries, like, <laughs> poor mum. I mean, I don't, because of my brain damage, if you don't say stuff to me, I don't, I don't think of it, you know? So she got home, I think, Monday, so she, from Monday to Wednesday, like, there's no food in the house, really. Apart from stuff, like there's stuff you can cook, but mum doesn't cook, so, um, yeah, so then I had to do a Woolworths order and ask my neighbour to pick it up today, and I've done a fruit and veg order to be delivered, we've got some meat in the freezer, but I just, yeah, I don't have anything left, so because I'm going to have to buy some medications and stuff that I don't usually have, I do need some support if you have it, and you know, just any anything extra that comes along which will come along because next week is still another you know f another food <laughs> look another week in which we need to eat food um so yeah if you can help that'd be great i feel super positive and proud of myself i feel like things are changing anything's possible but um well there's no buts really i do, I do feel i just feel very different that doesn't i guess take away from the fact I'm still in insane amounts of pain I'm just I'm just not showing it in the way as demonstrably well <laughs> that could be argued I can't walk I'm using this is a walker I'm hanging on to here <laughs> and I can barely sit up but you know considering all that's happened that's pretty good anyway I know it's a bit long but I think I made the sense and um I, I hope that you're glad to see me at least smiling despite the stupid amount of pain i'm in i feel pretty proud of myself for keeping my shiz together all right um yeah i probably there's probably more stuff to like tell you but i can't think at the moment because i'm i just like can't think properly so I'll go and I'll speak to you later. I hope you have a lovely weekend. And yeah. I love you. Wildly. Okay. Bye.